The old temple of Athena was an archaic temple located on the Acropolis of Athens between the older Parthenon and Erechtheion, built around 525-500 BC, and dedicated to Athena Polius, the patron deity of the city of Athens. It was destroyed by the Persians in 480 BC, during the destruction of Athens. It was located at the center of the Acropolis Plateau, probably on the remains of a Mycenaean palace. The complex is sometimes described by the name Dorbfeld Foundations, after the archaeologist who found the location of the temple. It was referred to as Archaeos Naos by the Greeks. Foundations of the Old Temple of Athena, in front of the Erechtheion. It was destroyed by the armies of Xerxes I during the Achaemenid destruction of Athens, in 480-479 BC. Foundations of the Old Temple of Athena. Old Temple of Athena. Floor Plan of Old Temple of Athena. Location of Old Temple Athena is number 2. The foundation suggests the following basic description, the temple measured 21. 3 by 43. 15 meters. It was surrounded by a peristasis of 6 by 12 columns. The difference between column axes was 4. 04 m, narrowed by 0. 31 meters at the corners. The stylobate was slightly curved, whether this also applied to the superstructure remains unclear. In both the pronaos and episodomos, two columns stood between short ante. The main building had two inner sanctums, the east cella and the west cella, which was very short, in fact nearly square, and subdivided into three aisles by two rows of three columns each. It was followed by a pair of side-by-side -side rooms. The foundations were composed of various materials and constructed in varying techniques. While the load-bearing parts and internal supports were made of blue Acropolis limestone, the foundations of the surrounding peristasis were of porous limestone. The superstructure and decorative pieces also appear to have been made from a variety of materials, including porous and parian marble. Pediments The old temple of Athena had two porous pediments, around 15 meters. In length. The surviving pediment depicts gigantomachy, the struggle between gods and giants, eventually won by the gods. The central figure depicts the goddess Athena wearing an aegis covered with scales and edged by snakes obtained from a monster she previously defeated. She is thought to hit a falling giant, whose foot is the only remain. Scholars believe that this pediment originally contained a frontal chariot in the center with four horses and Zeus inside one of the chariot, pointing an arrow in the direction of Athena. This image also shows Athena holding a snake and reaching out to a giant. Another figure features a lying giant, whereas two side figures, one was positioned at the corners of the pediment, depict two more falling giants. Other remains ascribed to the temple include an entablature and shema of Parian marble and porous limestone, capitals with a steep echinus. A marble sculpture depicting a procession, and marble water spouts in each of the four corners, shaped like lions and rams' heads. Zoan in the main building of the temple had two parts, one of the spaces in the east cella contained the ancient Zoanan or wooden statue of Athena, believed to have fallen from the sky, or from Zeus. The statue was probably taken to the Athenian fleet and was therefore not destroyed when the Persians destroyed the old temple of Athena Polias in 480 BC. It was eventually housed in the new temple of Athena Polias, the Erechtheion. The Zoanan statue was made out of olive wood. Architectural remains of the old Athena temple built into the north wall of the Acropolis by Themistocles, circa 478 BC. Remains of the Old Temple of Athena built into the northern wall of the Acropolis by Themistocles. Circa 478 BC. Wilhelm Dorfeld went to Athens in 1885 to look at the ruins of the Temple of Athena where he noticed some ruins were still standing and looked as though the architecture was the Temple of Athena Polius. Wilhelm saw a piece of a building that looked like a piece of the Erechtheian Temple, which was in the same location another archaeologist named Ross excavated in 1834. Once Wilhelm saw the same ruins he cleared in 1834, Wilhelm went towards the ruins to examine and he immediately confirmed it was the old temple of Athena. Wilhelm Dorbfeld assumed that the original structure was a double temple in Antis, dating to about 570 BC, lengthened and broadened by the addition of the peristasis under Pesistratus. Between 529 and 520 BC. This idea led to a subdivision of the foundations into an inner smaller structure known as H architecture and assumed to be the oldest part of the building. Followed by a structure still described as the old temple of Athena, including the inner H architecture as well as the external peristasis. The foundations of the old temple, visible in front of the Erechthe in the reconstruction of the temple's architectural history has remained controversial until recently. More recently, scholars have attributed the older remains, 
initially attributed to the inner H architecture, to the close Hecatompedon temple, dating the temple of Athena Polias to the last third of the 6th century BC and identifying its dimensions with the entirety of the foundations excavated by Dorpfeld. The old temple of Athena Polias is often dated to 510-500 BC. There are many speculations that the old temple of Athena was rebuilt by the Athenians once they took over Athens again. Fraser and Michaelis believe that the temple was not the old temple of Athena but, a new temple in the same location where the Erichthians stood. There were other scholars that did not agree with Dorpfeld's suggestion that the old temple of Athena was rebuilt and that the building was destroyed. Bates believes that Dorpfeld is correct with his discovery of the architecture and that it was indeed rebuilt. Ferrari mentions that Bates took Dorpfeld's side on his excavation for lost treasure in the old temple of Athena, but the temple was not built right away as Dorpfeld thought it was. Pericles who was a general and a politician to Athens citizens was the one who convinced the Athenian people to rebuild the temples of Athena. He suggested to the Athenians not to have the location be a pile of rubble where the temple once stood because that could offend the gods. It remains controversial whether a partial restoration of the temple followed the Persian sack of 480 BC. Herodotus mentions a west-facing Megaron on the Acropolis. This reference, as well as a structure listed in an inscription, has been interpreted as evidence that the episodomus of the old temple remained in place through the 5th century. Xenophon states that the old temple of Athena burned down in 406-405 BC, but this might also refer to the Erichthian, which had taken over the functions of the old temple and housed the Zoanon. From the 4th century BC onwards, there are no possible references to the old temple. Pausanias was not aware of its existence. Thanks for watching.